Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug What. My name is Leanne. I've got a, a longish video, so it's going to be kind of in two parts. One is where I introduce the products to you that I would like to use up in 2024. This is going to be a rolling project. So as I use up a, a, a product, if there is something else I want to roll in, I'll roll it in. Um, but I'd like at the end of this year for these things to no longer have product in them. <laughs> want to use them up this year. So let's try together to uh, hold me accountable to using these things up. And again, if I want to roll something else in, I will. It just, whatever. This is not an official anything. Um, this is just, I'm trying to get good use out of my makeup collection. And when I get close to using something up or something is close to being um, like, it's time for it to go, um, I do... I feel inspired. So let's let's feel inspired together and do this. Okay, in um, no real particular order, I have some really old stuff here. I've got some stuff that you can still get. I've got some stuff that probably you've never even heard of. So I've got a video of me using these products. I want you to check that out. It's, it's, I'll put them together. Kiss. Okay, uh, number one is the MAC Studio Fix Tech Cream to powder foundation in the shade NW10. See how it's pulling away from the sides? Yeah, it's, she's, she's a lovely product and she's great. She's thick now because she's old. I want to use her up. That's her, NW10. Also, this is my Frankenstein Good Apple Foundation Balm from KVD Vegan Beauty. This is shade 002 and 012 mixed together because I couldn't figure out what shade I was for the longest time. I'm shade 006, by the way, and I have that ready to go, but these two mixed together are pretty decent for me, but you need so very little of either of these products, they'll take me forever to go through. Um, I didn't count, uh, I didn't bring a like skincare out. So there's like 12 products here and no skincare except for, we'll count this, whatever. This is the Sarah Hap lip slip. This is that old school, like really expensive lip balm that came out a long time ago. We are so close. We need to get it done. The lid broke a long time ago. We're, we're, it's desperate over here. Okay. It's bad. I also have the Flower Beauty Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. I did manage to figure out, this is the most bulky packaging on the planet. I did manage to pry the little sifter out <laughs> and that's how much I have left. I don't know how much that is, but we're going to use her up. We've been trying for a while now because again, the footprint of this thing is absolutely redonkulous. It's so stupid. I did use up my Laura Mercier under eye secret brightening powder or thing or whatever. Replaced it with that elf kind of sort of dupe, but not really because this one has glitters in it, but you can't really tell it unless you're in the car. So I've got about half of that left to go and some foundation on my hand. I've got the Kat Von D, not KVD, the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the shade L3 Neutral. No, L5. That's how good my eyesight is. Um, I have, I think, about this much left. And the um, the Flobberty Gibbet off the end is gone, and I've pulled the stop. This chaos. It's absolute chaos in this makeup room. So, enjoy that. The Benefit... Lemonade Color Correcting Eyelid Primer from 55 years ago. We're going to use her up this year. We are going to. We've been using her forever on this channel. It's disgusting. We're going to use her up. The AOA is also disgusting. The AOA Studio Velour Highlighter and Sometimes from Shop Masse. It's being held on with scotch tape. It's the most beautiful putty highlighter on the face of the planet. I don't think I put any on my nose. Let's do it now. It is... It has no underlying pigment to it, so it doesn't cast any kind of shadow. Um, it's so beautiful. You can't get it anymore, but mine's special with tape on it. The Benefit Erase Paste, you can't get it in this format anymore either because she's old as the, the hills. This is a number one fair. I think I'm so close to the bottom of that. Oh, I'm excited. Um, we're going we're gonna to use her up this year or die trying. ColourPop Super Shock Ultra Metallic. Nope. Ultra Glitter in 
sailor. We've, we've, it's bad. The pan's falling out. You, it's, we've hard panned it 55 times. Scrape it with a spoolie and keep going. Sailor is a beige with like blue shimmers. It's the, it's the most beautiful, beautiful thing you have ever seen, but it's disgusting. So we're gonna, we're trying, man. Here we go. Let's do it. Two more. You guys are doing great. This is a, the most ridiculous product you've ever seen. This is <laughs> technically a face powder. This is Beauty Benefits Press Powder. It's by Marquins, which is the owner of Wet n Wild and Black Radiance. But I've used it as a bronzer and we've, we've gone a long ways uh, on this bronzer. It is shimmery. It is gorgeous. Don't come for me. It's this beautiful shimmery bronzer that I got from the Dollar Tree 49 and a half years ago. Last but not least, and this is the one I'm stupid for trying. Okay, I, I'm, I'm with you on it. This is from the Good Luck Trolls MAC Collection. Why not? This is the Beauty Powder in Play It Proper. There was a troll in there. You can kind of see it's in there. I, this thing gets hard pan if you blink at it. But I use it as a finishing powder, and it's disgusting. And I don't know how far down the pan is. But we're going to keep trying, man. We're going to keep right on trying. If you want to see these products in action, stay tuned. Here I come to put them on my face. Let's let's put on some stuff on our face. So I have been in my makeup room for a little while today because I got a package. I had ordered the Z Palette Z Potter. So it's a ceramic like induction heater thing that heats up metal for you to depot things. Apparently you can also cook on it. I, <laughs> it's a whole thing. And it arrived today, so I began to play. I just threw on the AOA Studio Pore Filling Primer. And so I began to play with some shadows that were in the back of one of my Alex 9 drawers that I haven't touched in forever. And I began with those that were magnetic because they were the ones I didn't have to do. I, I don't have to put like the metal pan on there. If it's non-magnetic, you have to, it actually heats up the the thing itself. If it is magnetic, then it only heats up the magnetized pan. I'm learning. And so I just went with magnetic and got a few things to pot it, just learning how to use it. Um, you know, how long things take and how hot it, you know, what the temperature needs to be or whatever it is. This is an old product. This is the Temp2 BoxyCharm Liquid Glow. <clears throat> and it's in my drawer to get some use out of. I cleaned drawers two weeks ago and reorganized some stuff and put some stuff away, but also got some stuff kind of whittled down and just trying to get stuff where I can get to what I want to use, but also use up some stuff this year. So um, that's part of my 2024 stuff is to get some stuff used up, like this eyeshadow primer from Benefit. We've been trying to use her up for a while. It's called Lemonade. I didn't wet my sponge. Oh no, I need to go wet my sponge. She is a, like a pale yellow shade. Works really well. It's really old, but works really well for an eye primer. Um, that's her. Hold, please. I'm going to go wet my sponge. BRB. The sponge I'm using is new from Shop Masse. It is huge. I love it. <laughs> obsessed with it. <laughs> I think it's $3 from their lab line. 
obsessed, so obsessed. Okay, gonna just use things I'm trying to use up. This is not new by any means. This is quite a bit of old. I think I'm gonna use a new blush. But other than that, you know, we're just doing stuff. Stuff that we found as we were digging through things to depot. You know how it goes. For, <laughs> for foundation, we're going to use my Franken one that I put like everything and its mother of samples into a little jar. And so this is so many different shades, so many different brands, but once I put them all together, they sort of do pretty good together. And I haven't used this in a while, so I wanted to use it today but I mean like there's there's Dior there's Valentina there's like I mean there's all kinds of stuff in this and I think I'm just gonna do with the sponge let's see how she goes just the most random things I do but I wanted to use them but I wasn't gonna like sit there and open things every day but I will definitely unscrew the lid off a little jar. And it's like a pretty dang good match. It's a little bit, everything comes across a little bit more yellow on camera because my walls and a lot of my background is like a pinky lavender. It's not as yellow in person as it looks on camera. So just FYI. This is a nice sponge. It does a really good job of quickly blending things out. Typically I'd use like a, a felt, like a buffing brush before I sponge, but today we're doing this. I did get my hair dyed, so I did the black roots with more purple on the ends. It's the exact same kind of ombre that I did the, the last time. I say I did. I go to someone and she does it. She does an amazing job. We did not do any bleach this go round. We will, I don't do that uh, very often. It's maybe twice a year, tops, maybe. I feel like there's nothing here, but I know there is. Let's put a little bit more there. Let's see. Yeah, we'll cut it. So, hair dyed. I did get my lashes lifted again, y'all. Last time I did that was in September. And I did it again. And I love it. I love having uh, a lash lift so I don't have to curl my lashes. My lashes grow straight down and they don't care about a curler. They don't care about waterproof mascara. They don't care about me, okay? So, or my feelings. So this helps. <laughs> having a lash lift really is uh, delightful. I love it. So happy to have that again in my life. This is the KVD, nope, this is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer from back in the day. And we are trying to use her up too. So I got, I'm off of work for a couple of weeks and this is unusual for me. I don't take a lot of time off of work, so I am figuring out some stuff like around the house, reorganizing some stuff in my makeup room. I need to work on my library some and kind of de-holidaying. You know how during the holidays you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off. <laughs> and so when that finally calms down, you know, you've got extra recycling and, and you know, like f food products, baking things that you got that got to fit in the pantry somehow, you know, things like that, just stuff. And so trying to get that kind of sorted out before um, I'm back to work and just trying to in enjoy myself. Uh, that's hard sometimes. 
So some of it has been spent, a lot of it has been spent watching some K-dramas and just chilling out and like, I, like I've had, you know, some self-care appointments. I have a massage tomorrow, things like that. Like, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. But, try not to be anxious about what's happening at work. It's really hard. <laughs> I am not the easiest going person <laughs> when it comes to um, relaxing. It's really hard for me to rest. I'm one of those people. So I'm trying really hard. Use my e.l.f. under eye powder because we have officially used up the Laura Mercier Secret Eye Brightening Powder. This is the one that has, it does have some glitter in it. You can hardly see it. I can see it when I put my like mirror down in the car. Also, Mama pried this thing off um, to see how much powder we have left in the flower. Miracle whatever, whatever powder. So we worked on that today to get that little sifter off. The sifter's not the greatest. I mean, it, it does what it needs to do, but it's just not great. But we got that worked on. Let's see here. I have also been washing brushes. And when I say washing brushes, I don't mean like five or six. I mean washing brushes. Stuff I have not washed in a long time. Stuff that has been... Just chilling, dirty, disgusting. I'm washing it. I also, hence, will need. Does hence mean after that? Hence, yes, right? Therefore, hence. English majors, unite in the comments below. Um, I will need to declutter brushes, which I've, I don't think I've ever done. I, I mean, I, I think I've been like, oh, I don't like this brush. Like every random year or so I'll be like oh, I don't like this one brush but I've never actually sat down and been like what brushes do I actually never need like <laughs> I need I need these to go because I'm never going to use them this is the Benny mm -mm, Beauty Benefits pressed powder from the Dollar Tree that I have in a shade that's like a bronzer for me that is some no-name Marquins brand and this brush is like forever old. This was a Hot Look brush roll. I think, I think it was like, it might have been BH Cosmetics, but there's no stamping on it. This is like way before, I mean, this is the oldest brush in the entire world. And I love her. It's the only one from that roll that I still have and use, but for some reason it's, absolute perfection. So this is another product that I'm trying to use up this year. We're just going to kind of keep plowing through those as we go. Oh, I didn't pull a brow product. Let me look and see what we got. for bruise sitting down here. That's not the brow drawer. I reorganized. So now I've got to like get my stuff together here. Let's use the little elf pencil real quick. We... I don't think we have plans for tonight. I think we're ordering pizza. Um, and I don't know that we're doing anything specific tonight. I think he's got to take the Jeep to be inspected tomorrow. And I've got a massage tomorrow. So, you know, just living that adult life here doing things so exciting. I did get, when I went through my products to like reorganize, uh, there are things that were at the bottom that I can now remember owning. This is a brow pen with the little three prongs from AOA Studios. Forgot I even had it. But it was at the bottom of a thing, you know. You know how it be. I'll use it now. This is the new blush that I want to try. This is the Essence Bouncy Blush. It's a collaboration with Disney Mickey and Friends. It's really not that hard to open, but I 
was struggling for a moment. This is in Another Perfect Day. I think I'm going to try to pick it up just on another little angled whatever. This is the Wet n Wild Holiday brush. Let's see. Let's see if she picks up. Yes, she does. Okay, cool. It's, it's like a putty texture, so I wasn't sure how well it would pick up on a little floofier brush, but it's doing just fine. Look at that. Pretty, right? Yes. Okay. Like that. Yep, that's really pretty. It's just a natural kind of flush color, which I like very much. Nice. Okay, we can shut the brow drawer, Leanne. That's enough. And for highlighter, we're using the AOA Studio Velour Highlighter and sometimes, which is like ye old highlighter that I love. But we're going to get through her. We are going to get through her this year, I think, I hope. I think that Makeup Revolution bubble weird thing is actually going to be a dupe for it, which is great, but also why do I have the weirdest highlighters on the planet? Like, why can't I like what everybody else likes? No, we have this weird random highlighter. That's the best thing in the world for me. Okay, so in the depotting beginnings today, I grabbed a couple of rows of like singles and like smaller palettes, like duos and quads and stuff to start learning how to use my Z Potter. So one of the shades that was in that section that I'm not going to depot, but I am going to use, is this a <laughs> random Clinique shadow? <laughs> Who else has random single Clinique shadows just hanging about? This is the sh Why do they write it in freaking white? This is the shade Champagne. And I don't know how many millennia ago that I got this shade. But I'm going to use it as a lead, lid setting shade. And she's got a hefty dent. Oh, can we? How can we? Can we? There's a hefty dent. You just may have to take my word for it. But there she be. She don't make a bit of difference to what the color is on my lid. But there she is. Okay. Let's use the MAC Fix Plus Magic Radiance Tiny Squirt Bottle that we have. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on now. We've used it up already. Into the empty she goes. Next one. <laughs> this is the Dewy Finish NYX Makeup Setting Spray. We'll use her. We're just, look, we're going through it, man. We are going through things, using them up. That's how we roll, kids. So, found these babies in that drawer. I'm not going to depot them, but I pulled them out because I want to use them. I'm so excited. So these were back in the day. These are the NARS Dual Intensity Single Shadows. And they had a palette. I never got that palette. It was way too expensive. But when these, like when one would go on sale or whatever, I would run, not walk. And I have for these puppies. So let me introduce you to, okay, you remember they had this like, that little embossing or whatever? This is the shade Carrie. I love these so much. This is the shade Phoebe. This is the shade Regal. And Cassiopeia. I mean, gorgeous. I traveled with these two. And this would be my everyday eye look. 
slam this in the crease, swipe that on the lid, done and done. I also really love these two as a look. And I have loved these for years, but haven't used them in such a long time. So we're gonna do that today. So excited. So let's start with the carry shade. I'm gonna scooch these over. They're, they're magnetic, like to each other almost. Uh, and then I have a really special, another product that I also found in digging in the back of that drawer today that I'm going to use. And I cannot wait. So this is Carrie. This is the one that I would just slam in my crease. I love this shade. It is a mauve slightly cool, a little bit brown, but not much. This is like my everyday crease shade for life. Love it. It is more mauve than MAC Kid, which is another one of my crease shades for life. Man, I have not used this in so long. These are beautifully formulated. Uh, these have not been in production forever. But they're so nice. If you have these in the back of your drawer, Mama's telling you, go out, go get them. Go get them out again. And let's play. Because these are gorgeous. Just the most simple, easy. I mean, you cannot beat that with a stick. You can't. Now, I'm going to put some of Phoebe on the outer corner. She's a little bit duochrome -y. So is uh, Cassiopeia, the lightest shade. But we're just going to darken up the outer corner a little bit with Phoebe. You would think that I would be using clean makeup brushes since I washed so many. I haven't finished washing all my makeup brushes. Uh, but no, I'm still using the dirty ones that are on my vanity. That's how we roll. The clean ones are sitting in the, ba in the bathroom. Here we are. So I'm watching the Korean drama, My Dearest, which shockingly, not to me, I don't know if it's shocking to you or not, is based on Gone with the Wind. And I started watching it and was reading about the actors because I had never seen anything that the actors were in and I was just interested in what else that they've done and uh, read that, that it was inspired by Gone with the Wind. And then it clicked. I was like, oh, I get it. It's not like a remake of it. It's loosely based some of the some of the situations are similar in that like there is a war we're in 1600s Korea and she likes her best friend's man you know so but also she has to like really grow up and learn how to do stuff because it's it's war and ain't nobody helping her anymore you know and she is very fiddle dee dee at the beginning with, you know, she wants everybody to be in love with her kind of guy. It's great. It's really, really well done. Beautifully, beautifully shot. It's just gorgeous. Okay, so there's like the darker. It's not full on matte. These two are not fully, fully matte. This is less matte than this is. But you see it doesn't really, it's not super shiny either. This shade of Regal is the one that I would just take and do like it is. This I would wear to the office when I was traveling as a consultant. Without Phoebe in the outer corner, I would just put on Carrie and Regal. And that was it. And it's a perfect little pretty eye. Not crazy. Not hot. Not hot. Not warm. Not cool. Just real pretty. Done and done. I love these. Let's use uh, Cassiopeia in the inner corner real quick. So you can see that it's got a, it is a duochrome. It flashes, uh, it's like a white flashing blue pink. It's really pretty, but subtle, not, there's no glitter particles in any of these. This is before all that. 
I love them. Now you don't have to use them all just as your eye look. You could use one of them with other things, but they all like, you know, they have pretty strong magnets, so they all sit together. Again, I'm not gonna depot those, but I am absolutely excited to have those back out from the depths of the back of a drawer and onto my vanity. I am also stoked that I found a product given to me by the kid for Mother's Day forever ago. And it, it was a, it's a Stila product that came with a mixing medium and a little tray. And um, she gave me the metallic dusty rose shade. And it's this flaky, magnificent metal eyes is what it was called. And it's super flaky, super metallic, but it absolutely is still viable, still good. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger. I'm not gonna use a mixing medium at all. And I'm gonna tap and drag and just smear it on my lid. <laughs> this reminds me of the Danessa Myricks flakes. What are they called? Hold on, I've got one. Just wait right there, I'll tell you. These. I need my grandma glasses. Getting a hold of this for the birds. Infinite Chrome Flakes. That's what this reminds me of. This I have it in the shade Pride. It's like the rainbow. I mean, you want to talk about gorgeous. But this is so, it was way ahead of its time. Um, a Stila product. Stila is not a brand that you hear about anymore, but was huge back in the day. I love my Stila stuff. Still do. Still use it. Got probably a little bit too much on that finger, but that's okay. Yeah, let me, let me scrape a little bit of that off. Okay. It's not totally dry feeling, but it's not wet either. This is, I, I mean, I'm telling you, it was years before its time. This is the kind of eye look that you're getting now from indie brands and indie products, but this was available in Sephora. And like, do you remember these? It's forever old and I just used it on my eyes and I love it. Look how pretty. Yes, I love it. That's, that's why you should dig in the back of your drawers, kids. There's that. Okay, let's put on some liner real quick. That's the other thing I've been doing is I got to a lot of my liquid liners that I haven't had like access to in a while <laughs> because my vanity was so trashed. Listen, I can't help it, okay? I can't help it that this is who we are. But this is one that I haven't used in a while, but it's the Lash Princess Liner from Essence in black waterproof. A lot of people didn't like this. I like it just fine. So we're gonna throw some black liner on real quick. Okay, stop right there before you mess it up. I like this little thing. I like how stubby it is. I really like deluxe sample sizes of like um, pens because you can get so close to what you're doing and I really like that. The Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner that's in the deluxe size. I love that one because it's like short and squatty and you can just like get really close and knock things over and then you're good to go. Okay. Mascara on my lashes that I do not have to curl. Hallelu. Let's use, oh glory. Got some babies up here. Let's use a Clinique. This is the Lash Power Mascara in Black Onyx. I don't know that I've used this one. It's a little deluxe baby one. Not too impactful, is it? I 
I'm not real impressed. Maybe it'd be a good first mascara. Maybe we need to try it with something with more oomph. Let's use the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara in a baby size. Well, that ain't, I'm telling you, that ain't the greatest. I'll keep trying them. Maybe they're just not to be used together. I don't know. For lips, let's use Oh, Lord, tear it up, girl. Hiya. Let's put on Let's use Hot Toddy. This is Buxom Full On Plump, not Full On, Plumping Lip Cream in Hot Toddy. It came in a duo that I got on sale at Ulta. And she's warm, but not like not too pinky. But not nude. She's a pinky. It looks darker in the tube than it does on, in my opinion. I love Buxom products, especially their lip products. I don't mind the tingle at all. Uh, some folks really don't like it. I have no qualms with it. I have, there's a lot of plumping lip products that I don't like that I, that I actually have reactions to that I really don't like, but Buxom is not one of them. It is, it's a nice product. I, I like it's, you know, more minty, tingly than hot or like chili or cinnamon or those types. I really don't like those types, but these, this, these are nice. Okay. There's the face. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I'm going to film a couple other videos, uh, but I wanted, uh, I wanted to say thanks. I've had a lot of new subscribers here recently and I am glad y'all are here. Let's do this thing. We just hang out and talk about makeup and use our stuff and that's about it. Like... It's just real low key over here. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that button and let's be friends on the internet. Uh, if you like the video, hit a thumbs up. That really does help out my channel. And I appreciate it. I'll see y'all next time. See ya. Bye.